Hi guys and welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. Today we're going to be going over footprint libraries and how to add new ones to your project. One of the things that changed in KiCad 4 and also is in KiCad 5 is that the footprint libraries are actually now a directory structure. Instead of having all your footprints that live in one big file, one big text file, now it is a directory folder with a dot pretty extension. Not sure why they did that. But the, uh, within that folder then are individual files that represent each individual footprint. So if I go and update uh, the footprint files themselves are .kicad mod, and that's the uh, extension for the footprint itself. Again, not sure where that comes from, maybe module. But if I go and modify one of those, uh, say I have a mousebyte.kicad mod is the just the individual footprint that I modify. When I go and put that into revision control, then I only see that one file has changed, and that's something I actually like. Instead of if I had done that in the old way, in the old, old way, where it was all in one big flat file, then every time I change anything in there, the whole file changes. And you have to go and look at the the text differences. So uh, I actually do like this change. I know some people don't. I don't. That no. Well, this is the way it is. So these are the way that you know, like you like it or not, doesn't matter. Uh, so let's take a look at how we're going to actually add new libraries if we wanted to do that, um, because there's two different ways to do it, and I prefer one way. Uh, okay. So first things first. Let's go in here in our preferences, manage footprint libraries. This is actually where the uh, the listings live, right? So. So these are the, the global libraries are the ones that got installed. When I installed KiCad, you can click to install libraries. I do recommend doing that. You also could go and you could pull these from GitHub and then go and add them as uh, global libraries as well. And basically what happens is from project to project then, if I open a brand new project right now, these will be pre-populated. Project-specific libraries, if I go and start a new project, these will not be populated. And these are the libraries that live in my library folder. So if you look at, this is my directory for the entire project. I created a library folder. You can really list this however you want to. You can actually have dot pretty files at the top level if you want to, because you're gonna be pointing out where they are. Now this is an older project that I had worked on in the past. And I'm gonna go and uh, point out this project, or this folder rather. I'm gonna go and try and add this, this footprint library folder to my project. So there's two ways we can do this. First way we're gonna do this, we can go and browse. And then we're gonna go down to where these other ones are. And then hardware, KiCad, and then I just select this folder. It's a dot pretty, and so when I pull it in, it's going to say, oh, this is a plugin type KiCad. And then as soon as I do that, I now have access to these libraries. Right? So if I go into my footprint editor now, I should be able to browse and find these libraries. So I can go and set this library here. I can say minimus. That's the, that's the library name that I had added. And now if I want to go and load up one of the files that are in there, I can select by browser and say minimus prime is usually usually it's at the bottom, and then I can go and pull in one of the parts that's in there. So there's a SOT 523 part. So I can go and pull that into my design now. So that's great. Okay, what if I don't want to do that though? What if I wanted to make sure that I if I send this uh, if I go and I'm making a project and I want to send it to my friend, well there's going to be uh, a little bit less chance that they have this library in their system in the same location. And even if I put it within the directory structure that's very similar, I actually want to make a portable thing at this point. So if we do that, uh, let's take a look here. So, oops. so this is the folder that I did. And what I normally recommend is that you just literally do this. Control C, Control V. Now it lives in here. And what I would do is I'd actually go back in and I would hit manage footprint libraries i would remove this line right so remove library we'll just re remove that line now we'll go and browse libraries and now we should see that under library minimus prime dot pretty is there and so i can add that in to uh, my directory and the same thing happens now i should be able to go and browse for the same uh, parts here and you see they are here so that's really important because if you're going to go and add a library and you want to you know put it up to revision control have other people work on it at some point, then you're going to definitely want to have this around. Uh, you want to kind of carry the libraries with you. So I do recommend the second version. The first one works, especially if you're on your system. If you find that you're you're adding files because you're like, or you're adding footprints because you're like, I use these all the time, then I'd say add them to your global library, right? So you know, make a folder that's maybe at the top level of all of your project directories and add that to your uh, to your global library and just keep using that. There's a lot of ways you can do this. Uh, there really is no one right way. 
There's a lot of discussion about the best ways to do it. And if you want to go and get be part of that discussion, you can do so. There is the KiCad forum. That's forum.kiCad.info. That's where we talk about all this stuff. If you have questions, you can ask that over there as well. If you don't know, Contextual Electronics is a program where we teach you how to do electronics. And I pretty much show you the way that I like to do it. Uh, also, your classmates will also uh, join in and give their opinions as well. And that's actually a nice thing to be able to interact with them. There's also a forum thread on the Contextual Electronics forum, which I'll link in down below where we're taking requests on which videos you'd like to see for KiCad 5.0. Uh, this was one of them, and uh, the last one was as well. So I'm really appreciative that people are asking questions about what they want to see next in KiCad video series. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. We'll have more KiCad videos coming your way.